Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is our biggest haul yet, guys. Say, so do you see the baby? Do you see? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the fall winter 2020 fabric haul. This is my biggest fabric haul ever. It is, I, I just, I've got gobs and gobs of fabric in front of me to share with you. It's so much fabric. Da Sweet Daisy is down here, but you can't even see her because she's just covered in all this yummy, yummy goodness. So, let's break open, you want to help? Let's break open all of these packages and organize them so I can share with you what I am sewing for fall and winter. I am so excited, always so excited for these videos. If you are new to my channel, these are our talking videos. This is a sit down, get a snack, get a drink, whatever. Let's hang out together and talk about this yummy fabric in front of us. As always, I am very appreciative to Farmhouse Fabrics. They send me all of these yummy goodies in front of, in front of me to share with y'all but they don't pay me to say anything. So these are all my opinions. I mean, it's a wonderful little um, setup that we have going back and forth uh, between each other. And like I said, nothing is scripted, nothing is, these are all my opinions. Um, and you're gonna see my reactions to the fabric. I I'm obviously opening them for the first time. So I ordered all this stuff probably about, I don't know, three weeks ago. I told them, see Farmhouse Fabrics is very fast with their shipping, but I told them, I said, don't, don't um don't rush this at all they were kind of waiting on some wool they are getting heavy into wool y'all um they are bringing it so if you're looking to make a coat for this winter like you should go ooh, you should go check them out you should also check in between they like to put like their threads and whatnot in between the fabric to minimize the chances of them being destroyed in um shipping so if you're after like, where's my buttons or thread or whatever, check in between your fabric. That's probably where they've cushioned it. So, um, but what was I saying? Yeah, I'm always super grateful for it and it's a wonderful little thing that we've got going on between the two of us. They understand that it is hard to bridge the gap between online and stuff that you just, you want to see all this in person, right? You want to feel it all and see it and, and all the rest of it and be able to coordinate in person. They get that and they do the best job at bridging that gap that you can do. Um, you can leave, they have a comment section when you go on to order and you can leave comments, you know, everything from from does this coordinate with that fabric? How about this trim to that? Can you match thread for me, you know? Um, they will, they will go above and beyond for you. I, I, I just, I just can't say it enough. I feel so grateful being able to associate myself with them. I have personally ordered from them since 2009. And the last couple of years we've been doing this and I have been tickled pink and just super grateful. So let me organize all of this so we can get into what I'm making for fall and winter 2020. Can you believe it? It's the end of the year already. Like this year. Oh my gosh. This year. Okay, let's organize this. Alright, I think we have this more or less organized. So let's get um let's start with let's start with these three in the in the back over here. So these are going off the pattern, um Audrey's birthday dress pattern, which like I, I think I've mentioned a here and there that I've made that into a pattern and it's gonna be released sometime as soon as I figure out like the details of what it's being printed on, the envelope and things like that. The pattern itself is done. So these are three more looks to go with that dress. I'm super excited about. This is gonna be a fall look, which how pretty are these colors together? So this is a Liberty of London. What is the name of it? Emma Georgina? 
Emma Georgina. So this is Liberty of London and it has just some really pretty fall colors in it and it's being paired. I originally, yeah, we originally paired this with like a grape corduroy and I woke up the next morning after placing the order and I called Miss Sally and I was like, I think I made a big mistake. Can you look at that Liberty for me and see which corduroy it pairs with? And so they did and they paired it with this lovely, um, like this golden, what do you call it? Uh, colors. I'm just like, I don't know, it's a golden Hi. color. <laughs> like, I would be so bad at naming things. But um, it's really pretty. And then I've got their covered, I've got their covered buttons that go along with it. They have so many colors in these buttons. It is just if you if you are looking searching for a color, they probably have it. The, and they've had these buttons on a number of garments before, and I really like them. I think they're from Vera Wang. So that's gonna be one look. And then this is gonna be more of a springtime version. It's going to show you how to do it with springtime colors. <laughs> And it's doing lace tape. I've mentioned lace tape here and there lately, and it's just going to show you how you can like shape with lace tape and just kind of treat it. Bless you, just kind of treat it like um, you would lace, you, like like lace insertion. And so that's going to be um, that's going to be around the uh, overlay for it, as well as these little sequin buttons that they have. These things are just, for in my opinion, they're just decorative. I love them. I think they look so pretty and to like hand embroidery or you could just use them on their own um, and they're just they're light they're delicate they're super pretty and easy and then the buttons for the back and I've got a little bit of lace for like the um, do you mind I've got a little bit of lace around the neckline and things like that so that's gonna be a really pretty light and airy sort of look I'm sorry, y'all. This we're doing the best we can, aren't we? <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> um, and this one, oh my goodness, do y'all see this fabric? This fabric is like, it's just so pretty. It's got all these sequins that have been sewn. It's got all these sequins that have been sewn into it. It is gorgeous. It's on this netting, and it feels like a synthetic. Um, but it's really pretty. It's right here. Here you go. Here you go. Doesn't that make you happy? Um, and I'm going to uh, pair it over this Grace Voile. This stuff, I love this fabric. I have spent quite a few hours with this fabric right here. This is the fabric that I used for the shadow work, antique shadow work and border dress. Um, that I made for Audrey about a year ago. And to top it all off, I've got these mother of pearl beads. They are so pretty. And my thought with them is that they would kind of pick up on the um, sequins, and they do. They're really, they're a neat little like shimmer to them, and I'm very much looking forward to putting this dress together and showing y'all. I'm really excited for this look. I'm excited for every look. If y'all haven't noticed a theme, I'm just like, but pretty fabric. <laughs> What's not to be excited about? So, those are the three additional looks I'm doing for Audrey's birthday um, pattern. Let's move on to Christmas. Oh my goodness, for Christmas. So, I have done velvet for Christmas for the little ones. Does that make you happy? I've done velvet for Christmas for the little ones. Like, I think that's a tradition of mine. I mean, not of mine. I think other people do velvet as well. But, like, I have done velvet every single year and I just love it. I think this is a co what color. I think they call this like pine or something. Um, they have matching velvet trim that go along goes along with it. Can I help you? What can I do to make you happy? Does all this pretty fabric make you happy? Would this make you happy? Look at this. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, <laughs> that's all like sucking on some cotton. So this is the um, velveteen. And like I said, I've used it every year. I absolutely love it. it. They have a matching velvet trim to it. And so for the girls, I'm going to, I'm still playing around with it, but I'm going to make them some flavor of dresses. And Audrey's for her hem is going to have this gorgeous, um, what do you call it? Swiss insertion. At <laughs> um, any rate, so is gorgeous with insertion and that's going to be around the hem for Audrey and then kind of coordinating with Sweet Daisy she's got a smaller version here it is 
and that's going to be like around the yolk area. Like I said, I'm still kind of playing with it, but this is going to be like around the yolk area. Both of them are going to be, um, you know, have ribbon through it. And sweet hen. Oh, before we move on. So then they've got. Can I help you? Um, so then I think I'm going to use this for. Uh, what was I doing with this? I think I was making sleeves for Audrey, if I'm not mistaken. And then I was going to use this one that coordinates as a collar for Daisy. But I can't. I did re reference my notes. And it's only so easy to reference my notes in my current situation. <laughs> So, not that I'm complaining about you, um, but anyway, so then for Sweet Henry, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Henry, I am literally going to like build him a little shirt out. So his shirt, um, the backing and stuff is going to be Nola, I absolutely love Nola, it has a wonderful sh like shine, shimmer, yummy goodness to it. Um, it's got a wonderful feel to it, all the rest of it, Speckler Vogel Nola, I absolutely adore. This is my first time using this Swiss insertion. It's the one with all like, it's the one with like the 16th of an inch pleat down the, so that's gonna be down the middle of the shirt. And then I've got all these, um, all these other little trims that I've ordered. And I'm just gonna play around with them. How much fun does that sound? And build up a little shirt <laughs> with all these little insertions and just kind of like, do I want this here? Do I want that here? Do I want ne this next to that? I mean, how much fun. It's like a little puzzle you can just put together. So, super excited for Henry. I kind of honestly felt like I dropped the ball <laughs> with Henry last year, and I really wanted to make up for it this year. So, um, so that is Christmas. Aren't you excited about that? I'm excited about it. All right. So, let's go on then to coats because we, even though it's, warm right now we're going to be getting some cold weather here soon right so starting with daisy can i help you hi hi the people want to hear about our fabric sweet girl is that funny all right so let's go on to coats so this is for sweet daisy that's going to be the lining is going to be this liberty of london it is so sweet and so pretty it is perfect for little babies it also comes in red and red and blue and um i just think it's delightful for little ones i mean it would be pretty for like a little girl's dress as well but it is just so such a sweet little print and then here is twill for the outside of the um of the coat and I've got buttons around here somewhere. I think these are the buttons. These mother of pearl buttons that are like carved out. Um, so pretty. Here you go. Be happy. Be happy. We're going through it. We're going through it. Okay. So then, sweet Henry. I'm so excited for coats, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I am in diving deeper and deeper and deeper on coat construction. So this is going to be the outside of the coat. It's this. I feel like if I blow on her, she'll be happy. <laughs> what would you like to haul? Would you like to haul this? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we've just bought ourselves 30 seconds. So, this is a, it's a wool cotton blend. It has a wonderful soft feel to it. It is light like on the lighter weight side, um, which is no problem. I have a trick on if you want to use all right, we're down to camera. <laughs> I'm not going to change a battery right now. But anyway, so I have a trick if you like, you know, if you have like a lighter weight wool or something or a lighter weight twill or whatever that you really want to make a coat out of, there's a trick I'll show you in a second um, that you can make it w more warm if you're in like a cold. It gets cold here in North Carolina. It'll get into, you know, the teens, the tens, all that stuff um, quite frequently. So this will be the outside. This is going to be the lining for it, which is a flannel. Um, and then I might play around with this thing and see how I can do with it. I, okay, I want to put this on the coat. I want to play around with it and see how, how I can actually do it. If I can <laughs> do it in my mind in reality, and then it'll go on. So that'll be fun to play with. And these buttons are so pretty. They're like a great balance of just, they're pretty, they're handsome, they're a great little button for a little boy's coat, at least I think so, because I got them, right? Um, very excited about that, uh, and of course, hand-done buttonholes going on everything, right? Can't, 
can do a machine buttonhole around here. Um, so ex oh, the machine, the hand buttonholes, once you get good at them, it's just no comparing them. Anywho, at least that's my humble opinion about it. Um, <laughs> so anywho, this is Audrey's dress. This wool, can y'all see this wool, this print? It is a designer um, wool. It is just so cool. It's so cool. Like, look at this. It's like sort of flower, hazily. It's it's a very neat print. And it's so rare to see a wool with a print, right? It's also on the lighter weight side. I mean, it's not super light, but it's not like the chunky wool, you know? Um, so, then this will be the lining for it, which I think will be very sharp. This is... My mind just went completely blank. It's a brushed cotton. It's in their t-shirt luxury um, category. Or their shirt, not t-shirt. Their shirt luxury category, and it's a brushed cotton. It's very soft. And we've got these magnificent buttons. These are one of a kind. To kind of go with the designer theme. They have little black, like, um, yeah, I know, aren't those exciting? They're big, first off. They're like an inch. Are they an inch? They're like an inch and a quarter. Yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Um, and they've got these little black, little, like, how many times do I say little? They have these small, black, um, little gems in them. I don't know what you call them. Like, they're not, I'm sure they're not real, right? We're not talking about black diamonds here, but like, they're little shiny bits in these buttons. And they're just very, they're very neat. I love buttons. Love, love buttons. So, super excited about the coats. I think I had one more thing. Oh, I was going to tell you all about this. Okay, so, here's the thing. If you find some fabric that you want to make into a coat, a jacket, whatever, and you need it to be warm for the winter time, but it's a lightweight fabric, but you really want to use it because it's pretty. What you can do is you can interline it. This is what I did last year. You can check out the Chanel inspired coat that I made for Audrey last year. And you just interline it. This is some flannel. They had Amish flannel last year. I didn't see it on the website this year, but you just interline it with whatever, you know, kind of thicker weight flannel. I want to say this was on the more affordable side. Let me try to look for it. Okay, yes, it is a double flannel, or sorry, cotton flannel, double-sided white. It is $12 a yard, and it is 60 inches wide. So you can interline your jacket or your coat with this. You can use the Chanel quilting method that they have, which you just like, love this, that makes you so happy. Um, you can use that method in the video, and I don't actually want that coming off in your mouth. Here, have one of these. Oh, this is real life, y'all. And I've got two of them who aren't even here right now. I've got a nap and Henry over there, and Audrey's off with her father. They're doing a bike ride. They do bike rides somewhat frequently these days. Anywho, so yeah, you just interline with some flannel, and then you can, that opens up the possibilities of what fabric you can use. So, last, and I would say but not least, but this is definitely going to be last on my list. <laughs> because that is where I am on the <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, where was I? I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, so this one, like I said, this is going to be the last on my list. I mentioned last time that I am... Would you like this ribbon? Oh, that's nice. Okay, another 30 seconds. So I mentioned last video that like I'm focused on sewing the kids and all that sort of stuff, and that's still very much true. But some of you asked that you really wanted to see some women's wear. Farmhouse really wants to do women's wear as well. They have all the stuff, y'all. If y'all are looking for a place to go buy your own, you know, make your own wardrobe, they've got it all. I know that they've built a name off of heirloom sewing for babies, and yes, they have all of those goodies, but they really do have all the stuff to build your own, like women's professional, fun, casual, whatever, whatever style you're going for, they do have all of that as well. Um, so this is some gorgeous fabric. It is a cotton sateen. It feels like it might have a little bit of lycra in it. Let me refresh my memory. Um, if I can 
find that in my notes. It's the last one on my notes because, well, like I said, it's last. Fabric lycra sateen. Okay, so it's apparently, here, pop another marker. It's apparently Italian. It is beautiful. The, um, the print on it is so vivid. The colors are vivid. The lines are super crisp. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this is so fun, <laughs> I'm so sorry, these videos are such a hot mess, why do people watch these videos, huh, why do they watch them, we don't know, <laughs> anywho, so it is a, it's a gorgeous fabric, and it's going to be a thing that I make for myself, I do have a question for y'all, I could, um, I had planned on just do, busting out a commercial pattern and doing that number. I can draft up my own pattern and show you all the process of drafting it from scratch. Or I could, I guess, I could, I guess, take like a commercial pattern and show how to alter it um, to make it fit yourself better. Um, what do y'all want to see? Huh? I'll do whatever you want. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. I My plans were to make this a button-down sort of a t-shirt style dress because we are still breastfeeding. So I can get all gusted up around the house because, of course, nobody goes anywhere anymore and um, and have a pretty dress. I think it's, I think it's so, so pretty. Oh, and the buttons. You all have to see the buttons for this. They are these little vintage mo uh, mother of pearls buttons. Super excited about this. I might do bound buttonholes instead of hand buttonholes. I haven't figured that part out yet. Um, but at any rate, I think our time here is up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too much of a hot mess. <laughs> of course. Is that funny? Yeah, we have to get going. Thank you for tuning in. I, uh, I hope this wasn't too much of a hot mess, like I said, and I will talk to see y'all later.